Now let's say I have to do an insertion of a node in a linked list. So let's say I have this linked list. And we have a head pointer which is pointing to the first node of the linked list. Now I want to insert a node. So there are three conditions on this. It may happen that I want to insert a node at the beginning of the linked list or at the middle of the linked list or at the end of the linked list. So when I say beginning of the linked list, that means I want to store uh, add a link, uh, node before even before the first element which is here at the end is that I want to store a linked list after 3 here and it may happen that I want to insert a linked list between uh, node this node and this node which is going to be here so let's see how we, are, we will go with inserting a node uh, at the beginning middle and end let's start with the beginning so what happens is if we have to store a node, if we have to add a node at the beginning of the linked list, so what are the operations that we need to do? Since I have to st uh, add that at the beginning of the linked list, I want that the next pointer of this particular node should point to the beginning of the linked list that is already there. So it should point to this particular node and since this is the first element of the linked list, now the head should point to this particular list. So what do we, I want that let's say the new uh, node has value data is 0. So this new node should point to the existing head whatever head we, we have. So it should have the address of existing head. So let's say it is at 10. So this so the next of this new node should have address 10 and since this is the first element of the linked list so I want my head to be updated and let's say it has uh, address 20. I want my head to be updated to have the address of this new node. So how do we do this? So let's say I'm, uh, I have, so let's say I have the head pointer with me. Let's say I have the head pointer of the original linked list and I have to return the, I have to make the changes and return the head pointer back to main. So what is the first thing that we do? First we create a new node. We create a new node for this. So how do we do that? Using malloc. We create a pointer that will be pointing to the new node that is created. So let's say it is new node. Now we will have now I have the node created I will be assigning the values to this node and this is the new node pointer this is the structure that got created and this new node pointer will have address to this structure so if it is created at a value at address 20 this is the new node this is the new node pointer and it will have value 0 oh, sorry 20 so we can rename it because a uh, new node is coming again and again. So we can just keep it as new, new node pointer. So the new node pointer will have the address of the new node that got created just now. So what do we do? We add the data to this new node using arrow item is equal to let's say I have to add 20. Now since I want that the next of this particular node that is created should point to the existing head. So what will we do? I will do new node next is equal to 
head so it will have value as since initially it head had 10 so now it will have value as 10 and it will be pointing to the this element now i want to update my head so i simply do head is equal to so i simply do head is equal to new node point so this is how we add a new node at the beginning of a linked list so it may happen we have to be very careful with the head pointer so it may have happened that even before assigning the next of this particular node new node that got created to the initial head to this particular node i i had updated the head so let's say this is the head and this link is not yet formed so what will i do i will update the head first to point to this particular node in that case what will happen the this particular list whole list will be lost i don't have any place which has the address of this particular node so we have to be very careful about uh, you know assigning or changing the addresses or changing the lengths we don't want to lost any particular node or lost the address of the node now let's say we have to insert a node at the end of the list at the end of this linked list so let's say we have a new node it has data 40 in it it is storing data 40 and i want that this should be inserted at the end of this linked list so the this is head this is pointing to the beginning of the linked list it has, it has address 10 which is the address of first node of the linked list now in order to insert this node at the end of the linked list what do we want we want that the next pointer of this last node of the linked list should point to this new node let's say this is the new node and i want to insert this new node at the end of the linked list so i want that this should be this should be pointing to the address of this new node now how will that happen so we'll have to go till this particular node so let's say we have one more uh, temporary pointer temp temp will also be initially pointing to this first element of the linked list so what is this that why are we taking a temporary variable why are we not just uh, you know traversing using the head so as i have said uh, before also like if say, let's say i traverse do this thing head is equal to head next and head now points to this particular uh, node in that case we will lose we will uh, lose the address of this first element so similarly if head goes and points to this element we will lose our addresses of these two element, uh, nodes we will have no way to access these two nodes so before we make any changes in the next or we, before we make any link changes we should be very careful so now what do we do we will have a temporary variable which will be storing the address of this first element of the list so let's say temp is equal to head now i have to reach to the last element of the link list so what do i do i do this while temp next not equal to null temp is equal to temp next so see what am i doing so initially temp is storing the value 10 temp is pointing to this particular node so what happens we check temp next is not equal to null so this stands true and this temp is then pointing to the next element of the temp which is let's say its address is 30 the address of this is 40 we store 30 here we store 40 here and this is null so what happens when we do temp is equal to temp next now temp will be pointing to the next node which is this node so now the temp will have value 30 and it will be pointing to this node now again we check if temp next is equal to null or not so this is the next of temp is it null no so again this temp is equal to temp next will take place so again now temp will start pointing to this particular node now again the check will be there while temp next so this null check will again be there and this will stand false and this loop will 
break. Now we have temp pointing to this particular node. So the temp has the address of this particular node. Now what do I want? I want that this particular node next pointer should have address of this new node. So what do I do? Temp next is equal to new node. New node is the node that we want to insert at the end of our linked list. And since this is the last element of the linked list, so the next pointer of this new node will be pointing to null. So this is how we insert a linked list at the end, uh, insert a node at the end of the linked list. Time complexity for this will be O of n for inserting a node at the end of the linked list. In case we are given a head pointer. Now let's say I have a node again which has value 50 and I want this particular node to be inserted in between this, let's say this is first node, this is second node and this is third node. So I want to insert this in between second node and third node or let's say I want to insert this node after second node. So how do we do this? So what let's first try to uh, see diagrammatically what changes link changes has to be done. So in order for 50 to get here what do we need to do? What we need is that the next pointer of this second node should point to this new node and the next pointer of this new node should point to this particular node. So how do we do this? So let's say uh, I am given a count that I have to place an element after second node. I have to place, place a new node after second node. So let's say I run a loop. I have int count equal to 1. Let's say we have been given that position is equal to 2. So I and since I have to traverse till here, I want the pointer to this particular node. So I will use a temp. Temp will initially point to 10 similarly as we used in the last thing. Temp will initially point to um, head. Temp will initially point to first node and we have to traverse it till it reaches this node. So what we do is while count is less than position count plus plus temp is equal to temp next. So we will have a uh, temp, we will assign head value to it initially. So we will do temp equal to temp next. So let's see what is happening in this. So initially we have count is equal to 1. So count less than position, yes. So count will increase and the temp will be pointing to the next node. So what is the next node in this case? This is the next node. So now temp, now temp points to this particular node. Now again our count is 2 so this condition will uh, become false and the loop will break. Now we have a pointer to this particular node, we have the position, I just have to place this new node, let us say new node. After this particular node, how do I do that? What I do first is that I do this, temp next is equal to new node. So I have modified the next pointer of this particular node to point to this new node. But now the next thing is that I have to, let's say this is delete from here and this is pointing here. So let's draw it again. Five and then we have 50 and then we have six. So now the next of this particular um, node is pointing to this node and what do I want to do? I want to put next of this node to this node. But if we try to do this, we don't have any pointer or we don't have any uh, node pointing to this particular node. So we have lost the access on this particular node as because how we could, how we could have accessed this node by using next of this particular node. But we have already pointed or modified the next of this node to point to this new node. So we have to, whenever we are making the changes, we have to be very careful like how we are making the changes. The sequence of steps that we do actually matter a lot. 
so we won't be doing this first first we will be changing the next pointer of this new node so first we will do new node next is equal to temp next so what hap is happening is new node next is pointing to temps next since this next is already pointing to this and now what do i want i want this the next now i will change the next of this particular node so i will do temp next is equal to new node so this is how it will happen again the time taken will be o of 1 for the insertion and in case we are having any such loop that I, I have to traverse or I have to search, so it will be O of n. Else, if we uh, ignore this thing, the time taken for insertion is O of 1 in all the cases for beginning, middle and end of linked list. Now let's see how do we delete elements from our linked list.